Do you ever have one of those moments where somehow, some way, the grey matter cluttering the inside of your skull miraculously comes together to form a theory so <laughs> that it might just very well rock the very foundation of civilization itself? Or at least will manage to upset those lovely folks over at Reddit? Now, I'm not talking simple-minded theories like, is using McDonald's milkshake as lube gonna make me fat? Or, is that milkshake still good to drink after the fact? Because let's face it, I'm a succubus. I'm not really the smartest creature you're gonna come across. So, when a profound idea does come into my head that seems like it required more than two brain cells mushing together to come up with, you can damn well bet your ass I'm going to be sharing that idea like a small child sharing their crap macaroni art that their parents are less than caring for. So, what is this theory I hear you so irbatingly ask? VTubers are diet furries. Furries! The punching bag of the internet! Or at least, they were the prime punching bag of the internet until NFTs came along anyway. <laughs> um, you know something's wrong when even the furries are laughing at you? I'm just saying. <clears throat> how? How could you post this? I thought you were based. Furries! What is a furry? Is this a furry? What about this? Could this be furry? Mum? Can we have a furry? Now, in case you've been hiding under a rock, allow me to explain what a furry is in terms that even my stupidest of simps will understand. A furry is a sub-community of folk who use the internet like their personal chew toy. <laughs> Get it? To share their appreciation of everything involving anthropomorphic animals, ranging from amazing art produced of their OCs, to the appreciation of sexy anthro characters that the mainstream movie and game industry pump out every year to bait furries into spending more money than they have any right to have. Like me, trying to spend my last brain cell trying to understand why people have pineapple on pizza. I mean, come on, it's disgusting. Anyway, uh, the term anthropomorphic or anthro for short essentially means animals that share human traits or vice versa. Now you can tell your mum you've learned something today. Hmm, this all sounds a bit kind of cringe and weird, right? Or at least that's what the closed-minded normies on the internet will make you think. And, well, you're probably wondering how this has any correlation to VTubers. Hold your shorts, Billy. I'm getting to that. Unfortunately, going over everything I've just said does in fact mean that you fantasizing over Renamon that one time may in fact may you make you a furry. Or not. I'm not one to tell you whether or not you are a furry. But maybe, just maybe, jerking off to Renamon porn for the 50th time in a day might be a sign you need to look deep, deep down and ask yourself, why did I spend half my childhood feeling th feeling these things about Maid Marilyn from the Disney's Robin Hood movies? As much as the internet might make you think otherwise, furries are not all about their sexual shtick. No, sir! That's a stigma that the internet bullies have dubbed them with. Much like any fandom, the furries have had their fair share of trolls. Not that they don't do a good job egging it on, judging by the typical furry Twitter account, I find. This all might be sounding incredibly familiar, in reality, throughout this entire conversation and throughout this entire theory I'm going with, you could realistically replace the word furry with VTuber at any point and it would basically mean the same thing. The leather club's two blocks down. Fuck you. Simply put, using furries as my example, we can see that there's a correlation between the two and that being a furry is quintessential to being a VTuber and that there's a lot of overlap between the two. But I digress. We're not here to talk about the intricacies of furiality. I just wanted to set the precedent for my hypothesis. No, no. We're here to explain how I have the cojones to lump furries and VTubers together in the same musk-drenched convention hall together. It's often overlooked how similar furries and VTubers actually are. From anyone else's perspective, from the uneducated. Furries would seem like they've gotten a lot of hate over the years for being those weirdos that like to get a little bit too passionate around animals, all the while having less social skills than me after having the slightest amount of alcohol. Or at least, that's what Google would make me believe about furries anyway. Sounds awfully familiar to how people perceive uh, animes, weebs, and other VTuber enjoyers. Am I wrong? 
The point is, the cringe is there for either side, it's just, it's a different avenue for whichever way you look at it. And I'm not one to pick or choose which side to go for, but let's face it, whether you're a VTuber or a furry, you kinda cringe, my guy. <laughs> no. <laughs> but let's get back to the matter in hand. Furries and VTubers are very similar. They share a lot in common. The reason why VTubers are slightly more diluted per se is because they're very new to the spectrum. Furries have been around for yonks. And furries and VTubers do share a lot more in common than people might be led to think. More than some might, li might like to admit as well. And what furries may lack for in social skills, they make up for with their creativity. I mean, if I had obfuscated from society and spent 20 hours a day behind a computer, I too would hope that I would have developed some real-world computer-related skill too. I thought you were my little pog champ. It turns out that you... that you were cringe. But do you want to know what I love about furries the most that kind of puts them above the VTuber spectrum a bit more? The cosplay. Have you seen the levels of creativity behind some of those furry suits that they wear, that they walk around in, which are basically cosplays of their own characters? Some might call that narcissistic. I call that branding. Why are you looking at me like that? N no, I don't have a fursuit. Shut up! And these fursuits are where the crux of my theory lie. Because those fursuits are basically just VTube models. They cost roughly the same. They require about as much effort as each other. The main benefit about being a furry is you get to take yours home at the end of the day rather than having an online presence of creativity that means nothing in the grand scheme of things and that has nothing tangible for you to hold on to beyond the data packets existing on your computer. Other than the fursuits, both of these communities seem to be the types of people who seem to struggle to pay their rent half the time, but the second a sexy commission comes along for them to get their grubby hands on, they seem to be able to produce money out of their ass. But aside from how the parallels differ and wane depending on how you look at things, there is one substantial subject that stems through both of these that is equal on either side. The creativity. Both of these communities are insanely creative and expressive. But don't you even get me started on the furry VTubers because that's going to scuff my entire theory completely. However, when we boil it all down, it doesn't really matter whether you're a furry or a VTuber. The thing that all of these communities share in common, whether you're a furry, a VTuber, heck, even a brony, a trekkie, anyone on the internet with even the slight iota of creativity, it all boils down to the freedom of expression. And realistically, the fandom that we express ourselves through is just the medium of which we express that creativity through. And I'm happy to admit, if it weren't for the furries, I'd never have discovered VTubing to begin with. And when it comes to VTubers, they're basically just doing their best imitation of a furry without the weird musky smell and constant shedding of a fursuit. I guess, sort of. Oh yeah, the point I was going to make with this entire video was that whether you're a furry or into anime, cartoons are hot. And something about expression. Anyway, like, subscribe, bye!